Dr. Whitehurst Payne, thanks for joining us. Thank you for this opportunity to share. So how much of the decision to remove the school's administration at Lincoln High School had to do with academics? Well, I think it's a total package. Um, we just wanted our students to be supported overall in every aspect. And uh, that was a big part of it, but you know, it's just a total package. Um, folks look nowadays at what's going on school at schools, period. And if you think about it, the nation, the state of California, the city of San Diego, we all have to increase our expectations and our support for schools. That's why we're constantly asking for more monies to help support the schools. Because we realize we're competing internationally. It's no longer just San Diego or just America. We're competing with countries all over the world, even smaller countries, and they're doing better in some of the areas. So we, we just want to increase the standards overall. What are you looking for in a principal and vice principals that you didn't have in those positions before? So we're looking first of all for a veteran, not someone who is learning how to be a principal at the same time dealing with all the other issues related on that campus. And that's what I'm excited about. I, I felt that we needed that in the beginning. A veteran principal who knows what it is and the challenges that go along with being on a senior high campus. And then the next step is we're looking for someone who can pull together that school community, not just pockets, but the entire school community to focus on the needs of our, our children. And I, I want to really stress that because I think some of the children even didn't understand what I was saying at their graduation. This group of students at Lincoln that just graduated is by far the um, toughest group I've ever seen. The perseverance, the just sheer grit, if you will, just determined to succeed, they had it more than any group I've ever seen. But from my perspective of having seen a lot of high schools, not just here in San Diego, but in, in Orange County, et cetera, I know that there are some elements that would help them to do even better. And whenever they went for an interview and were compared to other schools, that was a comment that kept coming out. These kids are just stars, but they need that support to help polish them. Diamonds in the rough, if you will. When you say the elements that would help them succeed, can you expand well, on that? Well, uh, I shook every child's hand as he or she marched across the stage and asked them, where are they going? Most of them are going on to uh, the Promise program, the community college, or they've received the Pradeep uh, Chancellor Scholarship from UCSD. We have a student going to Stanford, others going all over. They are really achieving. And we have uh, 481 acceptance letters for colleges, $12 million worth of scholarship, 294 kids graduating. So they have, in spite of everything, they've really persevered. But I'm looking beyond that to say what happens now when, we, when they get to college. Still more students drop out of Lincoln High School compared to other schools in the district. Whose responsibility is that? Is that the principal? Uh, it, it's a team. We need a leadership team that can lead the school and can identify areas where we're weak and then support in that area or even request support from uh, the district if necessary. And Michael Brunker is part of your recruitment team. He's formerly with the Jackie YMCA, not too far from Lincoln High School. What will he bring to the recruitment process? I, I think that for San Diego, Michael brings something fairly unique. Uh, he's a Rotarian, I'm a Rotarian. He also has been there at the YMCA, Jackie Robinson Y, for a number of years. Uh, he's interfaced with Lincoln. He gave all of the students there in that community free passes. Um, they had a membership there. They left the school. They had that supportive environment. He's done things. He's looked for opportunities to help support the children throughout. Five principals in the, in the course of 12 years. What's being done differently this time? I, th I think for the first time since I've been here in San Diego, we're just doing a, a total a wipeout to say, let's just bring in a totally new team with one responsibility to get it right. This is the first time we've done that. Is it fair to put so much pressure on a principal considering the, the, obstacle that, the obstacles that any principal coming to the Lincoln High campus would face 
Um, statistically, 87% of the students at Lincoln High School are considered disadvantaged, socio and economically disadvantaged. Um, can well, we talk about the obstacles that these principals face? Because it's, it's a tough job. It's a very tough job. But on, on the other hand, we are offering an additional level of resource. We've had three vice principals and a principal. Now we're placing a director there who's going to be working this year exclusively with Lincoln High School. So we're going from four administrators to five. But we need an experienced person who is not learning what it is to be a principal, all the issues that go into that, standing up for yourself, um, just the whole ambience of being a senior high principal, that part of it, we're excited about getting someone in who can uh, traverse all of those pitfalls and then move forward with uh, bringing the students in, giving them the support that they don't even know that they're missing. And uh, I want Lincoln to be number one, and I know that it can be, and that's what I'm excited about. Just wait and see. Dr. Whitehurst-Payne, thank you so much. Thank you for this opportunity to share.